Well, we have 19 roller coasters in the park, and I think Revolution was one of those coasters that, that to a lot of our guests, and even some of us, was really excited. And uh, I was glad to see that we focused on this ride, because as any new roller coaster comes in, it becomes everybody's favorite. Well, the new Revolution, really, we have taken uh, the original 1976 innovation coaster uh, of the year. That year was the first looping coaster in the world and we wanted to bring it back, and to bring it back, we wanted to do something special. Well, the first thing that makes it new is the fact that we redesigned the seats, uh, we removed the shoulder harnesses, uh, we redid the road wheels, makes the ride a lot smoother. Pretty much everything else on the trains themselves are exactly the same. One of the things we did do in the new design of the trains is we left the ability to run it backwards. To bring it back, we wanted to do something special. So we thought, okay, how can we make it the next uh, new innovative ride uh, in the world? So we did some research and we've been working on looking at some virtual reality and we, we decided to put a virtual reality experience on top of the coaster. It was interesting. We went out to IAPA to do a test with VR coasters and we all actually got on the ride, got off the ride and says, we got to do this. Well, one of the things we wanted to do is be able to, if you remember, or if you looked at footage back in 1976, you could actually see the roller coaster in the track. And over the years, the trees had kind of consumed the ride. And unless you walked up into the plaza, you couldn't even tell Rev was here. Just the trees have kind of overtaken the ride. And we spent a lot of money painting it. So we wanted to clear the area back out, be able to open it up so that you can actually see the ride again, see the trains going around the track and just really make it a showpiece like it was back in 1976. Well, basically we came in and we cleaned up the station. We modernized the station before it used to have that old 70s, I don't know, monsters look to it, <laughs> for a better term. And we just cleaned it up, we brightened it up, we, we brought new light fixtures to it. I, obviously the landscaping we changed, made a little bit of tweaks here and there in the station to uh, open up the uh, ride envelope a little bit, just gave it a really much needed facelift. We added some new lighting through the track, kind of some maintenance lighting, but the big pop that all of our guests are gonna love is we put the lights back in the loop area, which originally when it opened and had lights uh, in the loop, they were obviously 1970s quality lighting, and we went to some new uh, trace lighting. We have just about any color under the sun. You're definitely gonna have to come back in the evenings and see this uh, loop when it's lit up at night. I mean, it's just gonna really be something to see. On these VR roller coasters, we're using the Samsung Gear VR, powered by our latest Galaxy smartphone. So this Gear VR at Six Flags is a little bit different than the one a consumer might buy at uh, Best Buy or Amazon, in that the, the lining around the face is an antimicrobial leather that's sanitized after the Gear VR device is used. 
What we did is we started some experiments with virtual reality on real roller coasters at Europa Park in Germany and we got tremendous support from the Mark family uh, and of course from Mark Rides who built the coasters at Europa Park and the Mark family owns Europa Park so we had a huge playground to test if that is possible and to see what we can do here. And it was amazing, it worked out really well. We can make heights much taller, you can drop from a 100 meter tall building. We can tinker with the track layout. For instance, at Europa Park we have a coaster where you go two rounds in the Alpen Express, you don't even notice that you are going two times the same course. Actually, we in, in some coasters we added a barrel roll, uh, which, which was only a, a curve in reality, but you totally buy it. It's like storytelling on the coaster and, and doing things that aren't possible in reality.